What? <laughs>
It might be nice to eventually start playing acoustic guitars and be thought of as, as um, a singer and a songwriter rather than a grunge rocker, you know? Because then I might be able to take advantage of that when I'm older and, and sit down on a chair and play acoustic guitar like, like, a, like Johnny Cash or something, you know? And, and it won't be a big joke, but who knows? When we play live, we lack a lot of things because I have to concentrate on so many different areas at once, you know. I, I have, I, I've always lacked in, um, in any kind of participation or any kind of feelings with the audience, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can never really, because I'm concentrating on my guitar and I have to remember the lyrics and I have to remember to push these little buttons down on my fuzz pedals and stuff. And, and I have to sing and all this stuff and I, and it stop, it, you know, it just confuses me. I, my, I can't chew gum and walk at the same time, so I'm doing, I'm expected to do like six things at once. And so just adding another guitar player is um, totally a relief. It, it just really helps. It's great. And we got this guy, Pat Smear, who's in the germs. The pleasure I get out of it is knowing that that many people like the music, you know. Um, but I was validated beyond any expectations when we were playing in clubs, you know. Just to have that many people, just to have 50 or 100 people say that, tell you that they like your music is, is fine enough with me, you know. So I've never, I've never been afraid of any kind of failure. We like to change with every song, like every song I'll twiddle my knobs and turn them into a different sound, so it's, I just don't like to repeat things. We're kind of passive aggressive in a way, you know, we just, we don't confront one another if we're pissed off at each other, we just um, let the what other person know that, that we're, we're bothered by something that they've said and then just forget about it you know it's really the only way to to work with somebody um, none of us have really that that aggressive of, of personalities really we don't we're all pretty much the same kind of people you know so mm -hmm. we, we started as friends and I can't see anything getting in the way to stop us from being friends I mean there, there was a time when there was a I'd say a breakdown in communication but right now you know if I think for most of the part since about last for the good part of the last year there's been good relations between everybody I mean Kurt and Kurt, Courtney come over for dinner you know what I mean they bring the kid over everything's great to tell you the truth I would rather just quit my band and join Hall you know but only because when I have played music with them, there's a level of connection that's a little bit higher than in, with anyone else that I've ever played with. It's, it's amazing. It, it, it's something that's totally satisfying for Courtney and I, but completely unrealistic because we're already so intertwined with each other and, you know, everyone doesn't even, most people don't even think of the band Nirvana anymore. They think of Kurt and Courtney, you know, and it's just, it's just too much, it gets in the way. Um, people would overlook the music and look into other things, you know. And it just wouldn't be taken seriously enough, so. I, I'd like to someday, but as of now, I couldn't see anything for the next five years or so. We still jam together every once in a while. It's, it's a sad situation. I, I really wish we could just join bands, you know.